Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the 33 video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow. So in my last video, we have understood a very important concept, which is the CMDB. As you know, we have started a new section CMDB and uh, which is the configuration management database. And we have seen like what is CMDB in the last video and also like, you know, what different components of CMDB, right? The configuration item or the CI, uh, what is configuration relationship? We have just got the concept of it. The basic understanding of CMDB with all of its important components. So what are the important tables of CMDB? So we have understood all this concept, right? So if you missed the video, don't worry. I'm going to put the link in the description and also you can find the link right now here on your screen, right? So let's see what we are going to learn from today's video. Okay, so you can see the first one different components of CMDB has already been done. Okay, in the last video. So today we will understand about the CI relationships and also by the name of the video we have uh, you have understood that we are going to see how to create a configuration item or the CI and then we would understand CI relationship and we are going to also see like how you can create CI relationship from your own configuration item right so it would be very exciting guys we are going to start it right now so make sure you watch the full video to clear your concept right so let's go to my service now personal developer instance so let's create our own configuration item right okay so i'm in my personal developer instance now so before creating a configuration item i think i have already shown you in the last video that what are the different tables of uh, cmdb what are the important tables right the ci table and i have also shown you different configuration item right by opening it i have also requested you to open your personal developer instance and check for different configuration item to understand about their properties their attributes right so don't worry if you miss that those things you can just go and check it out how to check attributes and you know different components of a configuration item form right so we would directly go and create a configuration item now you know if i go to the all section let me pin it and if i search for configuration i would get the CMDB or the configuration, uh, you know, the application under which we would get our CMDB. This is the configuration. You can see CI class manager, CMDB groups. These are the things we would discuss in the next uh, in the next video where we would understand that how CMDB is actually working, right? All these things like CI class manager, groups, query builder, okay? Uh, but for today, we would see about the configuration item, how to create it and the relationship. Now, these things are very, very important, guys, because creating a configuration item would be something that you would perform being a service administrator or like, you know, if there are already configuration item present in your uh, in your service now instance, like for your company, right? We would also see in the next video with the help of the different tools, how configuration item or CIs are automatically detected for a particular company, right? Inside of the service now that we would see in the next video but you understood that two things are very important one is configuration item and their attributes how you are storing them and second thing how is the relationship between them so when today we will create those two things i will explain you each and every step of ci relationship and the configuration item and how it is working so let's go and create the configuration item so we have so many configuration item available like application server servers you know we have the uh, different database server Many different things are there. So let's create a server. So actually, let's go to the Windows server. I'm going to create a new Windows server. Okay. So let's unpin the menu. So these are the default predefined Windows server are there. You can see there are so many different Windows servers are there. And I'm going to create a new one. This is the configuration item. Suppose a new server has been introduced in our um, in our company, ABC company or take with pre company, right? And we have to store it, right? The configuration item. So the details of the server. So what, what I'm doing right now, I'm going to store the details of the server. Okay. So that I can create a relationship. Relationship means that I will explain you right now. But before that, let's create the server. So I would just... Uh, add some information like uh, maybe so it's like uh, maybe windows windows maybe 2016 dc that's the maybe the domain controller we are creating so just for an example this is let's put some company uh, something like that okay uh, manufacturer we can just uh, say that microsoft is the manufacturer is it there yeah 
uh, model ID assigned to let's put someone let's put someone let's see what we have let's add someone and then configuration of the domain operating system domain we have operating system let's choose it windows windows server uh, okay 2016 is not there so let's choose windows os version i can say server 2016 okay ram what is the ram of maybe 16 gb ram i'm using cpu manufacturer i can put some information here uh, os service pack dns domain okay dns domain for this i can write take with pre again this is just a demo instance in the demo instance i'm creating all this thing just to let you know maybe uh 500 gb is the disk space okay and description this is used to create domain controller okay so what i'm doing again i'm in i'm just filling up the form or the attributes of a configuration item okay and what i'm going to do right now i'm going to click on save right click save so our new configuration item record is prepared right if i now it's done i can go down and you can see there are loading relations right now i do not have any relation so i would create relation i will create relation i'll show you how it is working in a minute okay so our new ci is ready now let's go back to the windows server list okay windows server ci these are the windows server set this is our new ci we have created so let's go any of this ci so let's go with this one uh, this is the OWA SD01. This is another Windows Server CI configuration item. And this is the uh, attribute form where we have some information about the server. Now, if I scroll down, I can see there are different things available here in the related items. And here, the things which you can see right now, this is the relations. Now, how do you understand about a relation? Okay, so now, choose before seeing the view, okay before seeing the dependency view how this now before seeing the relationship with this server with other devices let's understand that how it is defined in the related items then we will see it in details in the dependency view so now here you can see first line it is saying receives data from mass storage devices right so there are mass storage devices in the company from where this devices like the storage devices is the sand so storage area network 002 so from this devices this server owasd01 this server this windows server is receiving data from these devices send fine next it this server this owasd01 this server runs on this vmware sd04 sd07 now this server is used by this different four services like the Outlook Web Access, Electronic Messaging, Outlook Web Access, and Windows Mobile. These are the four different services, and they are using this server to perform this activities, right? This particular server, this is a CI, right? This server is receiving information from storage area networks, and okay, this is running on the two virtual machines. These are the servers where it is running VMware sd04 vmware sd07 okay and this server this ows server is using by its four services now here you can see that there are l2 l1 so probably you can ask me pritam like what are this l1 l2 so it is very simple guys understand this l1 means where you have direct connection with the server if you have a direct connection with the server then it's a l1 so server means which server this is the server now this is in the center so if it has a direct connection then L1. If it's a secondary connection, then it's a L2. If it's a tertiary connection, that's the L3. So I hope it's not quite clear. So we would understand with the help of this icon, show dependency view. If I click on it, you can see the dependency view of this particular server would come up. Okay, so this is the, uh, we can see in the center, we have the Windows server. This is the one for which we are seeing the dependency view and we have seen you can see four services are there it service electronic messaging outlook web windows mobile so we can see four services are there they are using the windows server so if i now little bit zoom here and if i just come up in the arrow here you can see depends on used by so this is the line which it is saying that 
this windows mobile service is depends on windows server owa st01 that means what that means if this server is having any problem this windows server owa if it is having any problem then this service would be affected right because this is used by or depends on this windows server right also not only this windows mobile service if i see the outlook web access this service this service also depends on used by this particular windows server so if this server is down this is also down right now if i scroll up again this is the another service electronic messaging again this is not directly dependent now here is the best way we can understand about the l1 l2 so now these two services windows mobile and outlook web access services we have seen here windows mobile uh where is windows, windows mobile and outlook web access these two services are l1 y i told you these are directly connected with the windows server the server which we are seeing right now so this is directly connected so that's a l1 now if i see about this services that is the electronic messaging and this has to be l2 because it depends on these two services and also it is secondarily dependent on windows server so that's a l2 you can see we l2 electronic messaging and it services electronic messaging it services this is the l3 because it is in the top it is coming it depends on the services so electronic messaging electronic messaging depends on owa and windows mobile and they are dependent on windows server so you can see how important this hierarchy is so if any any single place if there is a problem then it can affect the whole system now again if i go down so here you have seen depends on or used by now if we see here now this windows server is running on this two particular vmware right we have just discussed and you can see it runs on where it is runs on this server particularly okay so if this server has any problem then it won't run properly and then the whole thing will affect it all services are affected right so then finally we have the mass storage devices from where all this data is coming right so it is very important so you understand uh, yes mass storage device if it is affected then everything is affected all the servers and the vm right so this is how you can understand about uh, different things about a particular ci so now i hope you understand how important a ci is right now very quickly we will understand that and now we will create our own relationship right so i will now go to our new uh new ci this is the ow not this one this is the one windows server 2016 dc okay now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click on this icon to create our new relationship for our new ci windows server 2016 dc now it will open the relationship editor now here is the thing here we can edit the relationship or create our relationship right so you can see in the first we have the some suggested relationship that would automatically provide by the service now and these are very helpful you can see contains depends on so we have seen all this thing right if i go back here you can see depends on used by right and very important things are parent child here right so which you are making parent like contains parent so it would be like a parent and or you can use as a child right so now parent means very importantly what you are going to do okay now this means for an example depends on now if i select on depends on parent now whatever i'm going to choose now whenever automatically you are select a relationship under which the filter will automatically come now you can change the filter as you want these are the default filter it is coming now here you can ask me pritam what is that class class is nothing but we would understand class in the next video but class is nothing but the categorize you are categorizing the ci right you are saying what you are saying this particular windows server 2016 okay depends on it becomes the parent so depends on now this is a filter now you can choose any particular here from anything you know any computer so it depends on maybe this particular devices this ibm uh, lenovo one okay i'm going to show you and if i scroll down here i can create relationship here click on this plus icon you can see it depends on and used by windows server bud this this is the child no now let me click on save and exit i'm going to show you how it is working okay one by one we would do we won't create complex relationship you will understand each and every complex relationship if you understand the basic one if i scroll down here there is only one relation create on 
that depends on this particular computer if i click on the dependency view let's see so you see this is this windows server is depends on this computer right right it depends on the computer this particular computer depends on this is the parent and this is the child that's how the relationship works now if suppose for an example uh let let let's click on the relationship button we are going to add more relationship so you understand now depends by means depends on means now what i'm going to do is that so class is a uh let's not use this so i'm going to choose class is a server server or service sorry service service i'm gonna run the filter now this time i choose used by child see what difference it would come so i want this service called this suppose this e-commerce service okay so i'm gonna click on this icon and then i scroll down and click on plus now you can see things has changed now e-commerce has become parent and child become windows 2016 so that means what would happen i'm gonna click on save and exit okay so now if i scroll down now you'd see the difference now you can see it was previously only depends on this particular thing uh, this particular computer now it is used by so this particular windows server is using by this services of e-commerce normal e-commerce we have the retail client lab lookup retail client registration and also pos okay so if i now click on dependency view you'd see the difference Now you can see this is our Windows Server, okay? And it was previously, it is depends on in the computer, so it is running. Maybe suppose it is running on this computer, so it is depends. And now here it is using this Windows Server is using by this service e-commerce, and this e-commerce is service is using by the retail client registration and retail client laptop, retail POS or the point of sale. This service is using by this service is using the service of retail client lookup retail client registration these two are depends on this particular thing you can see depends on this particular service and this particular service is depends on windows server our new configuration item so this is l1 this is l2 and this is l3 if i go here you can see l1 e-commerce l2 both l2 l3 right so this is how you create a ci relation now that means if our server is down if our windows server is down this e-commerce service is going to affect each and every of this particular services are going to affect you can see these are the services right so now with the help of the ci you can understand now in an organization how it is it can be determined that how effective is this particular windows server is now the last question you can ask me pritam now how we are going to define or any services we can use in a ci or something like that like you have created no as per your business requirements now again it's a demo instance i have just shown you to make you understand make your clear understanding about how you can create a ci relationship and how it is working but based on your requirements of your company you will create this ci relationship right so i hope this concept is clear guys how you can create a ci relation how you can create a ci and how you can create ci relationship right it is very very important guys watch this video and try to create your own relationship understand what are the l1 l2s and l3 and understand and also try to utilize different you know different ci uh, suggested relationships that are there okay you can create your own and you would understand more better right this is it for today guys if you have any doubt come to the comment section ask me question if you like the video hit the like button and also don't forget to share this video with your friends and family so that it can reach out to many people see you in my next video of cmdb bye bye take care